I'm uh, Rodika for everybody. Hello, and thank you for the privilege of sharing a few of my reflections and research on this subject and discussion here to you. Thank you. I would uh, very briefly relay mainly on uh, one uh, mechanism um, related to the valuable aspects presented here by the other uh, speakers. And that mechanism would go with uh, why and how education is essential to the social power based on knowledge power. Um, in my view, it begins with considering knowledge as a sum of information, values, skills, norms, attitudes, mentality, and behavior. And the uh, mean to detain, maintain, transmit, enrich, and share knowledge is the education. It starts from birth and goes through the long life continuous evolving, be it of an individual of a community or of a community. What kind of individuals or characters and professionals a society is constituted of and what kind of performing its rules shall have. So basically it is education to be the engine of the humankind well-being and of its future becoming. Furthermore, it is through education that the knowledge is gained to provide individuals as well as within the society its power. This is in fact to say that social power beyond the types of strengths of relations, which is to say interaction, it is especially nowadays about a knowledge-based society. Such societies are made up of educated individuals committed to improve themselves as to further share and disseminate knowledge and contribute to the improvement of human conditions. And both at this level of such individuals and societies, knowledgeable ones, it is about continuously interactive learning process. The superior level at which an education system may not only empower individuals with top up-to-date knowledge, but also from professionals to shape personalities is at the universities, of course. As well, it is also in the academia environment at which it further is developed to the scientific patrimony of the humankind. And therefore, it mostly is about the alumni, who, depending on how powered with proper knowledge, shall then influence the society's status of power and its evolution prospects based on that knowledge application they have in practice. At the same time, it is this exercising in practice of their knowledge power that alumni may also feed back and sustain both the society and their mother university with new resources, informational, financial, human, material, and technological. And thus, such alumni shall not only empower the university to best respond to contemporary challenges and to the society's real needs, but also the society per se, uh, as to further invest in education for a continuous evolving of the humankind towards a sustainable development. So, in conclusion, what I basically wanted to stress out, it is about this spiral of the human uh, humanity's continuous evolving, which stands on and is an expression of the interconnectivity between the knowledge power and the social one. It starts from the knowledge pool, that through education as a mean and channel to uh, make best use of it, empowers individuals to properly making for the society's settings and to running it. Thus, it is so the actual making up for the social power too. Then, at this level, it goes with creating new knowledge which shall support and feed an enriched education power for providing much and more knowledgeable people and thus stronger, knowledgeable, aware and empowered society. And so on. Thank you.